Man, it's been very hard the last few days just not looking at any of the footage for the media workout that both Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford did. Trust me, it was very difficult. But I wanted to make sure I waited till both of these um, both of these fighters had the media workout and that we had a side-by-side -side comparison just so I could watch them both at the same time. Make it easier for me and for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. Now I'm already I'm riding with Spence on this in this fight, man. So y'all comment down below who y'all got. I'm very unbiased, but everybody has the right to pick somebody, right? I got Errol Spence winning. And uh later on in this video, I'm gonna let y'all know just exactly how I got him winning. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, side by side workout video. All right, so we see we see them both here with their well, I would say respective trainers, but I don't see Bomac here. All right, I see D James going in with Arrow. You know, staying close. Not too close though, you see. He still got a little bit of distance uh between them two. Still still close enough to land something good. But not not you know what I'm saying, not compromising his distance. We got Arrow, we got uh Terrence Crawford on the other side. He's going a little bit uh he's starting off a little bit slower. Okay? He's working on his head bob, on his head bob. There we go, head weaving. There we go. Okay, now we see Bomac in the picture. Okay. Now we know Bomac is going to be more of a stationary, uh, you know, target. He's not going to be doing too much moving. But we see him working. Okay. He's he's launching that jab, Terence Crawford. The jab's going to be very important. The jab's going to be very important in this fight. You know what I'm saying? I think I think the jab is going to be the key to keep that to keep that other man away from you, man, cuz both of these guys are great great body punchers. Okay, Earl Spence got his hands up close to his face. He's always guarding. You see when he when he throws one hand, the other hand stays up. Same thing for Crawford. These guys are both great defensive fighters. Defensively responsible is what we like to see in a top-notch fighter, a prize fighter. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, I see Spence. I see Spence getting some good head movement. He's in the inside. He's working the body. Okay. Errol Spence. I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford still out here throwing that jab. I like it. I like I like I like what Crawford's doing. Now we on now we switch we switch screens now. Now we got we got uh we got EJ on the right hand side. He's going on a uh, on a heavy bag. All right. Okay, EJ. I see that he's, you know, one to ten. He's probably at a uh at a number seven, at a seven right now. You know. He's not going too hard on the bag. Now, we got Terrence Crawford on the bag now. He looks like he's in the UFC cage. I mean, <laughs> to each his own. But I was I would like to see him in a boxing in a boxing uh club. But anyways, he's hitting, he's hitting the bag. He's going a little he's going a little easier. I think he's going like a 5. EJ's going at it like a like a number like a 7. You guys notice uh, Terrence Crawford's elbow drops a little bit more than uh, than EJ's does when he's throwing those hooks. That could be a factor, man. You know, it's called telegraphing your punches. You're telegraphing that split second. You know, maybe his opponents up to now haven't been too, uh, too high IQ. I mean, of course, they've been high IQ because he's got some good fighters. But Aerosmith might be, might be the highest IQ fighter he's facing. 
in a split second he's gonna be able to see that when that when that elbow drops down that he's no he knows that something's coming so he can read it you really just gotta let it go you know what i'm saying you, you can't drop that shoulder too much but okay You see, you see uh, EJ's hooks are just a little more cleaner. The hook, you can't really see the hook coming. I like it. I like it. Once again, comment down below who you guys got winning. All right. Now, as far as who I got winning this fight, like I told y'all, I got EJ. And I'm going to tell you how I got him winning. I got him winning by just grinding down. On the body of Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford is going to be just fully committed to keeping EJ off of him with the jab. And every time he throws his jab, I think EJ is going to get up under it. And he's going to he's gonna tag that body all night. And I think by, by, the round, by round 9 and 10, this thing is going to start looking a little one-sided. And a lot of people might be surprised. And I think, I think it's going to be a stoppage. All right? I think it's going to be a stoppage. Bomack never seen his fighter struggle. Bomack doesn't know when his fighter had enough. Bomack's going to get scared. Bomack's going to want to protect his fighter. Bomack's been like a father to this, to this fighter. And Bomack is going to stop it. That's my prediction officially we can come back to this channel we can come back to this video afterwards and if i'm wrong y'all can tell me but if i'm right y'all gotta subscribe y'all gotta subscribe all right